Welcome to Vintage SF. I'm Richard Rempel. This review was filmed near Tucson, Arizona. I'm teasing this review with the line, the three most devastating words to finish an SF novel. Originally, I wasn't going to reveal those words. I felt it was a spoiler. But while editing, I thought better. I thought some people would like to know those words for the following reasons. One, you've read this novel and you just want a reminder. Two, you don't plan to read this novel and you're curious. Or three, perhaps the ending will actually help you decide to read this novel. So we're going to take a look at the spoiler-free review that I filmed in Tucson, and then I will return and there will be a spoiler banner across the screen. So you can decide as you listen whether you would like to know what the most devastating three words are that closed out an SF novel. What if aliens invading our planet were actually farmers seeding a plot? The Genocides by Thomas M. Dish, 1965. The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. Jeremiah 8.20 Earth is seeded with an alien plant. These plants grow to an enormous size, 100 to 200 feet tall. They are not exactly trees. They are tubular and pulpy with strong fiber on the outside. They have leaves the size of billboards. This invasive species breaks apart that which we've built in civilization and dries up our water sources. This novel is set a few years into the future. Much of our civilization is breaking apart, including our societies. The worst is coming out in people. Small communities survive by banding together. They often don't take chances with any other wandering humans. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. The story takes place in Minnesota. Farmers trying to take care of crops and continue to feed their people and the community shrinking. The giant alien plants are so big that they blot out the sun. You feel like you're at the bottom of a jungle, just seeing the green light through the leaves. No matter what is done to try to exterminate these plants, they continue to dominate. This is an unusual apocalypse. And Thomas Dish's story is an unusual story. Yes, we do have this threat to our existence, but it's also an internal threat, an existential threat. How do we keep a small group or society going? And now there is a greater threat. There are cylinder alien machines putting everything to fire that is not their plants. You can think of this as gardeners weeding in their plot. This small group that we are following in a Minnesota farming community finds an ingenious way of escaping. But this escape becomes another test of survival. Thomas M. Dish is a good writer. He takes you on an unusual journey through an alien evasion. This is no heartwarming tale of survival. This is gritty and brings out the worst in us. I find the last three words of this novel to be the most devastating in all the SF that I've read. I give The Genocides 7.5 out of 10. Have you read Thomas M. Dish? Have you read this novel? Would you agree that it is devastating? Let me know in the comments below. All right, here's the spoiler. I've got the novel right here. I'm gonna to turn to the last page. Short paragraph and the three words. Nature is prodigal of a hundred seedlings only one or two would survive of a hundred species, only one or two. And then that last three word sentence, not, however, man. Until next time, keep reading.